noticed that our music video had a high quality logo of the band that we did in 3D. That was actually done in After Effects using the brand new ray tracing engine that uses NVIDIA Optics technology and is accelerated by the GPU. Now, if anybody's familiar with ray tracing, you know that it's extremely difficult and it's extremely computationally intense, but we can do it on the GPU and we can do it really fast. Uh, I'm actually previewing right now. We're actually seeing this render out on the GPU and it, we've taken this logo all this is is a, uh, a shape that we created in Adobe Illustrator. We've extruded it inside of After Effects, and this is going to give us a very, very high quality motion graphic. You can see that we've got nice soft shadows. We can get reflections on this. And the really cool thing is that we can manipulate this in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that works. Using the camera, we can basically get a really fast preview. And this preview is actually ray traced as well. And you see, as soon as we stop, we immediately get feedback and that renders out. And so we can go ahead and animate our logo and get any look that we want. And a really neat thing is that you used to have to go out to an expensive 3D package in order to get these kind of effects into your video workflow. Now you can do it right inside After Effects and it's 20 times faster on the NVIDIA GPU than you're going to get with the CPU alone. And one of the neat things is that you can see how we can use traditional After Effects elements to composite with our 3D to get a really nice finished product. And all this is going to render out and we're going to end up with a very high quality professional looking motion graphic. So for GPU ray tracing, you want all the horsepower you possibly can. So I've reconfigured my Maxima system. I'm still using the Tesla C2075, but I've replaced the Quadro 2000 with the Quadro 5000. If I wanted to go insanely fast, I could even replace it with a Quadro 6000. 